Hi, this is Jeremy Goldcorn for Danway TV. I recently sat down with China advertising veteran and president of Ogilvy One Greater China, Chris Reiterman. We talked about what companies are really spending their money on when it comes to digital advertising and how media companies can take advantage of it. What I'd like to ask you about today is uh, all kinds of digital marketing. First of all, how much do you see, w what do you think the percentage of uh, advertising and marketing budget is spent on internet, mobile and other digital platforms now compared to other media? Firstly, it depends largely by, by categories. Some categories where it's very, very small, it's like 2%, 3%. And some others where it's 25 and, and up. So, I mean, if you average it out in China, it's probably like 4%, 5%. Some people say it's 7%, uh, but it's in the one, one digit kind of percentage. How does that compare with other countries? It's, it's lower, much lower. I mean, in the, in the US, it's about 10% now. Uh, I think most of the developed markets, it's, it's above 10, 10, 15. Why is it lower in China? Because a you know the the whole notion of, of online advertising is, is still fairly new. Uh, I think the whole market and the whole ecosystem is not as developed yet. Uh, I think uh, you know a lot of categories that are very big in the U.S. and in Europe they they are not spending that much yet in China. It's actually quite interesting because the categories that are big in the US uh, are, are quite different than, than in China. Here it's largely IT, for example, which, which spends very heavily on, on, on digital. Uh, real estate is quite big, used to be quite big. It's pharmaceutical, very big, which is here very small. Uh, consumer goods, very big in the US now. So getting very big, which, which just really starts in, in China. So you know, there's still a lot of catching up to do. How fast do you think it's going to grow? I mean, it's you know when you just look at the percentages and and kind of the the numbers that you see in a lot of analyst reports, it, it is growing very fast, obviously, but of a much lower base. But I think often when you look at those numbers, they don't really tell you the the full story because what the analysts are looking at is is kind of the online media spent, right? So just in total dollar numbers, and and that's how they define how the category is growing. But actually, there's a lot of stuff happening, you know, beyond just pure media spending. Because uh, if, you, from our perspective, if you look at the total digital market, uh, you you also look at what do companies spend on infrastructure, what do companies spend on people investment, for example. And and you know, in China, that's a big investment right now, where a lot of companies that haven't done anything in, in terms of digital, you know, maybe in the past had a very junior webmaster who's in charge of the digital marketing of the company now is to really upgrade the skill set, hire more senior people, invest more in research, invest more in lots of other parts. And, and that's something you don't see when you look at analyst reports. What about um, the, the sort of split between sort of pure media buys? So you buy advertising on a portal website, for example, and uh, other kinds of... Uh, ad spans say you know uh, clients that want to make their own social networking website or their own game something like that do you think there's less and less money being spent on on actually buying media space depends how you define buying media space i mean if it's if you, if you say it's like buying banner ads for example that that is definitely you know a trend away from that and and you know i think what a lot of the big advertisers look at is to have much more kind of deep uh, partnerships with with a lot of the big websites. So instead of you know just buying banners, they they go to the big websites and do maybe a one year deal where they you know get access to a lot of their content, a lot of their you know proprietary tools or whatever, and 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 really provide a, a kind of much more integrated experience. Just 
instead of just buying media. And that's that's actually a, a pretty big trend. And and and, and often. You know, a lot of that spending is also not really captured in, in when you when you look at analyst reports or media data or stuff like that because often that's just measured media data. In other words, they're just counting up the banner ads, so they won't see it if there's some kind of branded content. Or... Exactly, and and you know, I think there's a big trend from kind of buying pure media to distributing content. Again, you know, the the money that companies spend in uh, developing that content is also not really measured when you look at the whole market. And, and you know, a lot of our clients actually do that uh, much more than 18 months ago, for example, that now they really spend uh, quite significant amount of money in creating content and then distributing that content rather than just buying some banners. Do you still find yourself pushing clients to do stuff, digital stuff, or, or, or is there, has it come to a situation where they, they come to you and they say, we need to do something on the internet or you know, mobile? I, I, I think it has quite changed in the in the past few months and, and I think the discussion ma now is much more how do I make this stuff work rather than should I do it or not I think no client you will have to convince that digital is, is you know important and, and growing I think it's, it's rather the opposite that a lot of clients come to us and say okay if I really want to spend 10% of my budget online what the hell should I do and how do I make sure that this money is spent effectively what would you say to media owners uh, who want to take advantage of this? What, you know, what do clients want out of media owners? I think they want more flexibility. They want more accountability. They want, you know, uh, I, I think a more holistic kind of approach to digital marketing rather than just a, a, a media buy. So I think any kind of website that can go to clients and say, you know, we don't just want your money and, and put some banners on our homepage, but we can also offer you, I don't know, content that, that you can play with. You can, you know, we have applications, we have games, we have events, we have, you know, social networks, blogs, whatever, and, and really provide a, a fully integrated digital solution to clients. I think that's that's... What, what they're really looking at. <clears throat> but if media owners do that, won't that take work away from agencies? Not at all, actually. And I think it's rather the opposite. And, and, and you know, what happens uh, more and more is that, that we work very closely in the very beginning with a few media properties and, and, and really see at what's possible and then see how, you know, we kind of develop a creative strategy or a digital strategy that aligns with what the media has to offer. So, so I think it's, it's actually working more hand in hand with them rather than the good old agency approach where the client comes to the agency, you develop some creative and then you put it on a website. I think now it's, it's you know, that often the, the media actually drives the idea to some extent. Okay, one last question about mobile. Uh, now 3G is sort of launching, is launching in China this year very slowly uh, and the latest statistics are that uh, about there's 750 million mobile accounts in China. Um, how how close is it to the potential of mobile advertising being realized? Because I mean, this is something that people have actually been talking about for 10 years, and so far, it, I don't think it's really everybody's playing games, right? There's, they're not spending real money on it or getting real results. Who are they? And. I mean, from from our own perspective, I think media, uh, mobile, definitely, you know, is is getting much more attention, and and I think more and more marketers are, are starting to use mobile for whatever they do. But again, it's not mobile advertising as we know it. You know, it's not putting banner ads on websites or, or stuff like that. Uh, you know, a lot of our clients were were doing stuff in the gaming area. We're doing kind of branded utilities applications stuff like that so it's really much more providing value to consumers rather than just annoying them with with ads and and i just have very little confidence that the mobile phone will be a great kind of advertising medium as we know it you know to to like put like interruptive ads in front of them but uh you know a lot of brands uh, that we work with we're, we're really starting to do quite interesting mobile stuff but it's content really it's not, it's not yeah, yeah. Sort of advertising per se well, well, that's advertising too anything else you'd like to add about China's digital advertising and marketing landscape 2009 I think that that you know to me this year was actually quite a 
good year, even in a bad year, because I, I feel that the, the whole recession has, has really accelerated the push towards digital. And, and I also think uh, the, the big guys have kind of come to the table. And I, and I think you see that in every country where, you know, the moment when the PNGs, the Unilevers, the Johnson and Johnsons and these kind of guys start to get seriously into digital, that's when the whole industry starts to mature because they are very you know, sophisticated in terms of planning, in terms of measurement, in terms of accountability for what they do. And, and I think this year, I think, has helped the digital industry in China to, to mature quite significantly. So that hopefully will help us in the next few years to grow even fast, faster.